So here we're going to look again at finding the equation of a circle, but a specific time when we're given three points. So if you're given three points and they want you to find the equation of a circle, this is the quickest method to do it. So this is the same as in the intro video I was talking about subbing the points in. So that's the method we're going to employ. So subbing points in. So we're going to sub each of those points, 0, 0, 3, 1, and 3, 9, uh, into the equation of the circle to hopefully find it. So again, just to read the question quickly, it says three points are on a circle, 0, 0, 3, 1, and 3, 9, find the equation of the circle. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to write out the general equation of a circle. So x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to zero. So one by one, we're gonna sub these uh, points into the x and y values here, and we're gonna find three equations for g, f, and c. We can solve these, and then we'll have the full equation of our circle, all right? So the first thing I'm gonna start with is the easiest one, is zero, zero. So if we put our point zero, zero in, we're gonna get zero squared plus zero squared plus two g, by zero plus two f by zero plus c is equal to zero and that just leaves us with c is equal to zero all right so that's our first one so that makes it easy enough that c is equal to zero um yeah that's our first equation done so now we just need to find uh, the sub three one in and three nine in so i will scroll down a little bit and i'm gonna say orange here we're gonna say the point three one Okay, so you sub 3 in wherever there's an x, and you sub 1 in wherever there's a y. So we're going to have 3 squared plus 1 squared plus 2g by 3 plus 2f by 1 plus 0 is equal to 0. So you don't need to put the plus 0 in, I just put it in just to show uh, that we're not forgetting the c, just that c is equal to 0. So here we're going to have 9 plus 1 plus, this is going to be 6g, that's going to be plus 2f is equal to 0. So that means we're going to have, oops, let me do that, 6g plus 2f. I'm going to move both these over, is equal to minus 10. So that's our first equation. I'm going to put a box around that and label that number 1, and we'll come back to it. The next we're going to do is we're going to do 3 and 9. So I'll do that in green here. So 3, 9, we're going to sub in as well. Our points 3, 9. And we're going to say that this is 3 squared. So again, 3 everywhere there's an x, 9 anywhere there's a y, plus 9 squared plus 2g by 3 plus 2f by 9 is equal to 0. So here we're going to get 9 plus 81 plus 6g plus 18f is equal to 0. So we're going to get 6g plus 18f is equal to minus 90 in this case. Put a box around that, and that's going to be equation number two, right? So now what we have to do is we have to use these two equations, and we have to do simultaneous equations with them and solve them like that. Simultaneous equations. Perfect, okay? Um, so I'm gonna scroll down and do that. So that should be no problem to get uh, our values of g and f. So I'll say 6g plus 2f is equal to minus 10, and then 6g plus 18f is equal to minus 90. So we already have 6g and 6g, so I'm gonna multiply this top line here by minus one. So now we're gonna have minus 6g, Ooh. I'll redo that. So we're going to have minus 6g minus 2f is equal to plus 10. And at the bottom, we're going to have 6g plus 18f is equal to minus 90. So I'm going to add these two simultaneous equations together. That's going to cancel with that. 18f minus 2f is going to be 16f. And then uh, minus 90 and plus 10 is going to be minus 80. So put a Actually, that's not our answer yet. So now we have to solve this for f. And if we divide both sides by 16, divide by 16, we're going to find that f is equal to minus 5. So that's our first bit solved, but don't forget now we have to sub that minus 5 
back into one of these two so we can find a value for g. So we're going to sub it into this first one here. So I'm going to write now 1 over here, which is 6g plus 2f is equal to minus 10. So now it's going to be 6g plus 2 by minus 5 is equal to minus 10. 6g minus 10 is equal to minus 10. Minus 10 will cancel with minus 10. We're left with 6g is equal to 0, and that means that g is also equal to 0. So in this case, g is equal to 0 and c is equal to 0. Most of the time this won't happen, um, but in this specific case it did. So our final answer then is going to be again in the form x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c. We have c is equal to 0, we have g is equal to 0, and we have f is equal to minus 5. So I'll write the final answer in orange here, it's going to be x squared plus y squared, it's going to be plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. That's going to be x squared plus y squared, it's going to be plus 0, so I'm going to leave it out, plus 2 by minus 5y, uh, no, there's going to be no plus c, is going to be equal to 0. And our final answer then, x squared plus y squared minus 10y is equal to 0. So that's the answer to that one there. That's the equation of our circle. Um, and that's the method you're going to use all the time if they give you three separate points. You're going to keep subbing them in, set it, get a few simultaneous equations, and then you have to solve them. So we were lucky enough that one of the points in this question was 0, 0. They could give you one where um, all three of the points have numbers in them and then you'd have three simultaneous equations in G, F and C to solve so that would be a little bit harder but this is the same method anyway so hope uh, you guys enjoyed that video, hope it made sense and next time we're going to look at more examples of finding the equation of a circle in the next example we're going to look at finding the equation of a circle if we have two points and we have a line going to the centre point so we'll see you next time for more of these videos